Good morning, everyone. It's Simon Holden here for Holden's Horses, just coming up to 9.30. It's Friday the 16th of April. The next time I'll be back will be at 12 noon with your warm horses update, already a 14 to 1 shot. Paw Paw on that line. We're one or two, three maximum warm horses that have been backed by the right people, the right faces at the right price, and I'll get them to you. But very, very quickly, I have an extra bet for us today. I gave the Inval, if you didn't see last night's video, the Inval, it runs at air. Let me just very quickly reiterate what time. Uh, it's an 11-year-old, one for three years. It really is a, um, well, what would you say? It is a leap of faith, an LOF bet. Uh, it's 3.15 and it's each way the Inval. You can get seven to one. Nicky Henderson trains. Nico de Boinville has been kept for this race. But I've got an extra bet for us, and that runs at Font. Well, I'll tell you that in a minute. But what I can say is a big thumbs up to those of you who came in for the Midlander. In the last two days, he's gone a nine to one and seven to one, following on from last Friday's 25 to one. Uh, and what I can tell you today is he has two bets. One of them is currently 50 to 1. Drum roll, yes, 50 to 1. It's his biggest price yet, but do not rule out this guy in the form he is in. And you can have six months of the Midlander service, all your bets by free text and free email for £29. But you can only have that till midnight tonight because that deal is finishing. So if you want in, you've got a great reason to get in. A, it's closing at midnight, and B, he's got a 50 to one shot today. So middle under. Right, my double shots, they are there now. Uh, they run at Newbury. Big five to one yesterday, Kunan, the winner at uh, Ripon, coming down south today for two inside info shots. These are inside info bets. So get involved there. Now I'll be back at 12. And I did say yesterday that this is really the last, uh, this weekend and next weekend, the last weekend where I'll be covering the jumps because after next Saturday's Sandown end of season, I know there is summer jumps, but I'll be 99% on the flat, giving it the big one till October. So, however, there is a race at Fontwell today that has really caught my eye. Now, this is a Swan Vesta. It's a match, really is. No offence to the third horse. A three-horse race. Now, Premier Dance runs. Uh, Premier de Tree, sorry. Uh, six to one. Now, this is trained by uh, Archie Watson, ridden by Gavin Sheehan. I just don't think it's within a stone and a half of the top two. They are Kulani. Uh, Kulani trained by Fergal O'Brien heading towards that first century in his career ever. The same rating of 1-4-0 as the other horse, the second favourite, fullback. So the handicapper cannot split these. Now, Kulani is odds on. Now, I believe this is the Swan Vesta. It's a match. Yet, Bet Victor go 13-8 to eight on the other horse, fullback. Now, they're the same rating. It's at Fontwell. Gary Moore is known as the King of Fontwell. Joshua Moore, his son, rides it. Now, fullback, third first time out, he then had two impressive victories. Now, they were on soft ground. Today isn't going to be soft ground. However, he's by Sindar, the derby winner, out of si a, si the, a cyborg mare, get it right. Uh, there's no reason at all why he should fear uh, distance novice chase, three mile one on fast ground. No reason at all. In fact, it might even get some improvement out of him. Now, he flew high last time. He ran in the, the Reynolds Town novice, a grade two. I mean, this is the sort of race for horses that be aiming at the festivals. He was flying high there. But before that, in small fields at the gaff tracks, no offence, Fontwell, I love you, but you are a gaff track. He was quite impressive. And I think the bookmakers have slightly overreacted to that. Now, Kulani, he was second last time at Ludlow to a horse called Ballymoy. Now, I don't think that quite equates. So I'm going to forgive fullback. He had no right really to be in that Reynolds Town race. I mean, I could see they were having a go. But what that did tell me is that Moore thinks this is a useful novice or he wouldn't have gone to Ascot. 
even in his wildest dreams. And I think Bet Victor have got this wrong. At the very best, at the very best, this is a 10 to 11 pick'em race. It really is. It's a Swan Vesta, it's a match. 13 to 8 strikes me as far too big. And if you can get that, if you can get on with Bet Victor, then I think 150 fullback is a bet. I really do. Now, if you can't, but you can get on with 365, with Paddy Power, with 88 Sport, with Betfred, with Betway, the works, you can get six to four. Still think he's about six to four. Um, actually, if they were 11 to 10, the pair, I would still back fullback. So it really is on the maths, on the book, the dead level. We've got an angle to play. I think it's a bet. 150. There's your extra morning bet. It's full back. It's the 150 at Fontwell Park. And it's 13 to 8 with Bet Victor. So this is the last day of that Midlander deal. And he's going out with a bang of 50 to 1. So get involved if you're not. It's 29 pounds for six months. Double shots. They're at Newbury. The flat's starting to really kick into gear. I'll be back at 12 with some warm horses. And then I'll be back at 5.30 with your Friday free lucky 15 for Saturday sports bar. So give me a thumbs up if you're going to get involved. And I shall see you at high noon. But for now, it's all about the fullback at Fontwell.